This is the best Christmas ever. What are you talking about? He's eaten all the decorations. The tree is completely destroyed. We should have just got a lottery ticket. But we always lose. They're nothing but a scam. At least there's a chance. Rodney, Jamie, get off your arses and get me a lottery ticket. We ain't got no money, though. What happened to it all? I just got the check so we could go. We bought decorations. You spent everything on decorations? Where the hell did you go, Walmart? Well, yeah. We went to that new store on Kenmount Road. How did you get there? Drove. With what car? Bugdens. You took a cab. It was only $40. Do you know how many lottery tickets and cigarettes I could have had gotten with that? You didn't have to go to Kenmount Road. Where then? Down the street. The corner store doesn't sell any decorations, Shelly. Hey, what'd I do? You're both idiots. I sees all them lights on some of the houses. A bit excessive, I think. We're supposed to steal them? No. Just redistribute the wealth. Oh, yeah. You're a modern-day Robin Hood, aren't you? Just go and do it. And we'll attach them to the ceiling so the dog doesn't get out of them this time. What about the lottery tickets? Thank you for reminding me. Why aren't you carrying one of these? I'm here to supervise and make sure you two don't screw up. Here's the preferred store. Let me handle the human relations. Someone is going to have to handle her. Good day. We are here on behalf of the Jane Lee's Children Foundation. As this is the time of charity, we are looking for a donation. You can have my empties. I'm too lazy to bring them in anyway. Please wait here. You didn't seem too convinced. Well, maybe if you didn't, didn't, if you two didn't look like poor and unemployed bums, we wouldn't be having this problem. Well, we are poor and unemployed. I think she means we don't look like we mean business. It's all about the first impressions marketing. It's all about the marketing. Well, after we get these empties, me and Ronnie will go back and look like business with that suit and tie. And where are you going to find those? We don't have those. Sure we do. Those suits we wore to the last court appearance. Jamie, you are not taking those suits out of their bags. They are for special occasions. Here you are. And thank you on behalf of the children. Oh, give it up. And you come around here again and I'll call the cops. I am here collecting empties for the Janeway's Children Foundation. Y yes, it's, 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 take whatever you want. Here's my wallet. Please leave me alone. I didn't do anything. Hey, we got a wallet. How much is in there? A library card and a health card. Hey, that means we can ask the library for empties. Jamie. Oh! We are collecting tribute. All we ask are for your empties and no one gets hurt. Hello, officer. We came round to sing carols. Rodney, Jamie, Lee, take it away. We jingle wish bells, you a Merry Christmas. Bells, we wish you a Merry way. Christmas. We oh, wish you a Merry Christmas. Horse, open and a sleigh. Happy hey, New jingle Year. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Good tidings we bring to you and oh, your kids. Good tidings for Christmas open and Happy sleigh. New Year. Merry Christmas, officer. What are you doing with those empties? Trips. I think we have enough, Shelly. And this suit is itchy! Jesus, you two have no stamina and you call yourselves men. Can't we just bring these to the store and cash them in? How are we gonna do that? The store doesn't take empties. There for this week, something to do with charity? Like customer appreciation. What do you mean you're accepting donations? I want my deposit back. We take the empties, get the deposit, and donate to the Jamie's Children Foundation. So what's this customer appreciation, then? Well, we're selling lottery tickets at half price today. Is that with tag? No. Oh, well, what's the point? Shelly, we have just enough for half a lottery ticket. 
So you have enough for half, but not a whole? Well, we didn't spend all the money. Fine. One lotto and no tag. All that hard work, and all we get is a ghetto lotto ticket. What were you doing? I don't remember you hauling around these empties. And we, not you, almost gave that man on 52 a heart attack with our men in black stairs. Shut up! The lotto numbers are up. One, thirty-four, twelve, sixty-five, fifty-four, twenty-three, two, thirteen. Not one single number. I need my Pepsi and cigarettes. I'm having a panic attack. Oh, relax. This was a recording of last week's lotto numbers. I don't remember this at all. I was here last week. Yes, but you weren't watching it. I was in this bed. With Rodney. You don't remember, Shelley. Because I sure remember how <laughs> you... Yes, 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 yes. I, I remember. Well, put on the lotto for today. We missed it. Oh, no. Pepsi. Someone get me a Pepsi. Why don't you just call the Marie's Mini Mart not a line? Well, call them. Jamie, write them down. My nerves won't let me look. We won? How much? A thousand. A thousand million? I didn't think the lotto went up that much. It doesn't. We won one thousand dollars. That's it? Well, that's still a lot. Go see who that is, Rodney. Oh, sir. I swear it's not what it looks like. What does it look like, Rodney Flower? I was told of some fraud happening. Something to do with a group of individuals dressed in suits, collecting goods either on behalf of a charity or a godfather. Now, am I to assume that you're all dressed to go to a funeral? No, officer. We, we are dressed up to, to present the Janeway Children Foundation with a $1,000 check on behalf of the Flower family. And how might your family come into such money? We won the lottery. Oh, is that so? Oh, congratulations. In fact, I would like to escort you to the Janeway so you can make this charitable donation in person. This sucks. You got no money. I'm pretty sure I got no back left. And, and you're not in jail. Take stock, boys. This is Christmas, after all. Oh, shut up, Shelly. You're the only one who got anything out of this deal. Your friggin' cigarettes. Give me one. Get your own. Ouch! <laughs>